morning guys. Happy October 1st. This is Steve and welcome. We have another episode on the Little Little Wood Shop. Okay, well today, this is going in conjunction with a blog we're working on. Uh, I know it's going to be a little scary for some folks because we're already talking Christmas up here. I know, I know. Don't do it, Steve. Well, we're going to. What we're going to show you uh, and what we're going to do for you very simply is uh, we're writing an article this week and we're hopefully going to have it out Sunday night or first thing Monday morning uh, on CNC fabricated uh, Christmas ornaments, okay? Now, all of us have scrap kicking around our shop and this is pretty much what I, I do uh, my ornaments with. I find small cutoff blocks. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I have, I have family that are in the trade. Some of them are carpenters and builders and what have you. Uh, they save me all their cutoff, you know, 8, 10, 12 inch pieces or so, and they fill up garbage cans and they tell me, hey, if you can't do something with them, well, you can convert them into BTUs and keep yourself warm. So, okay. Well, enough of that. Well, what we've got here, I've got three different pieces of material, okay? And I'm not going to make you sit through the, the mundane end of the preparation, okay? And by preparation, we all started, uh, I started out with three quarter inch everything up here. Uh, sometimes I, I purchase rough cut, that's an inch. But I end up saving all my scrap again to either burn or utilize for free gifts. Well, we have three pieces of material here. I have a beautiful piece of white poplar. Okay, it's got some really, really nice grain lines to it. I've got an absolutely gorgeous piece of Brazilian mahogany. A uh, family member of mine was doing a, a client, uh, doing a deck for a client down on the seacoast, and uh, this was the cutoff scrap. Okay, instead of throwing it away, he said, I figured you could use it, and I said, Well, darn skippy, I can. So that's a beautiful piece of mahogany. And then left over off the spoiler board, we had some MDFs, a medium density fiber board. I don't really build or do anything with this stuff, okay? But it does serve a purpose, okay? Well, what I've already done is I've already milled these, uh, I'm sorry, I've already planed these down. Not milled, planed. We've run through our planer, and I get them down between 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, okay? Uh, the mahogany is, is obviously very heavy material, it's very dense hardwood. Uh, so you don't want to use a full three-quarter inch thick piece, you know, you're going to go to put it on the Christmas tree and it's going, to, it's going to just lean right over like Charlie Brown's and, you know, I love Charlie Brown, but yeah, I want my tree to be upright. So we take our material down thinner to get the weight of it down, okay? The programs that I've cut for you, we're going to give you samples. It was basically uh, in the holiday Christmas package. And the holiday ornaments, uh, holiday, I, I can't remember one of the last blogs that we wrote uh, with the big package that I had given away. Well, there are eight ornaments that are all nested uh, on one, one piece of material. I've basically drawn a single ornament out of those, those, that entire nested sheet, and one at a time we've set them up. Now, the job requires two mills. You need a quarter inch end mill and an eighth inch end mill. Uh, I know fair well everybody's got a quarter inch either up cut or down cut uh, kicking around their shop. And your eighth inch mills, uh, you can, yeah, and you probably have those, especially any of you guys doing cribbage boards, all right? Two bits, scrap material, plain down thin. We're going to show you, uh, we're going to pocket a little, uh, little toolpath in the middle of the ornament, and I think I told you in a prior video. We're going to show you how to decoupage uh, with Mod Podge that you can get from any arts and crafts store. Uh, Wally World, I believe, is where I get this stuff. Uh, hardware stores carry it. A uh, big bottle like this will go bad long before you probably ever use it. But we're going to show you how to decoupage a picture of either maybe your, your, little, your little wee lad or your young miss in there. And we, we talk about doing ornaments and things like that for, for grandma and grandpa, okay? Mom and dad, whoever. Uh, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna pause the video for just a second. Uh, I can I can show you a quick clip of the actual programming process, but it's a very very simple program. And any of you guys who are downloading my bigger packages with all kinds of uh, tool paths and all this and that, well, this is this is gonna be a walk in the park. Okay, you guys, hang on. We'll be right back. 
All right, guys, real quick, we're just going to go over the package, okay? I'm going to show you this. It's in VCarve Pro, uh, which obviously any VCarve or Aspire users can take full advantage of the CAD files, okay? Right here is everything. What we did was we took, this is a, a picture that's rendered out of VCarve Pro. These are the eight ornaments, okay? Each one of these ornaments has an eighth inch hole in it. Uh, this is just a picture of the sheet. Okay, we have put them all together, all right, our tool pass are cut if in the event you wanted to run this on a full sheet. I ended up doing my job size at 18 wide by 14 high. Uh, my particular thickness right now is 350 thousandths. I run off the top of my material and my datum position, my starting point is always the center of my material. That's just how I happen to like to do it, okay? Um, we'll give you an image of this run out, okay? That is pretty much the whole sheet. Now, mind you, we have not put the pocketing tool path in these uh, to insert your picture. You may just want to run these and maybe hand paint them. I don't know, okay? But we wanted to give you that option, all right? Uh, no. Okay, now... This is this is the same image right here, okay? Above, you see all of your ornaments. Now, what I can do, or what you can do, is let's say there's a particular ornament in here that you, that you want, okay? You can highlight it, light it up, Bring it in to dead center, okay? Close it. Now, I've left you two lines, as you can see. Some of you guys may choose to go around this with a V-carve bit, a 90, a 60 degree. You may want to put a bevel on it. Well, if that's the case, I have not put in the tool path for that bevel. I'm not really interested in it, but I wanted to leave them both in for you, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, let's, uh, let's get him up here. If you want, you can grab a circle, okay, put him in at whatever size you want. We'll go, uh, we'll go two inches. We're going to apply it, okay, and obviously I, I would have to resize the ornament for this to even take, okay, but let's say we're going to run a, uh, we're going to run a one inch, okay, let's go one point. We're going to apply it, let's close it. And then let's take and let's center this. Okay, it doesn't look quite centered. There we go. Okay, you would just then cut a separate pocketing tool path for this, okay? To however deep you want to cut it to insert your picture. Like I said, you may not even want to insert a picture. You may just want to uh, run one decoration out without the, uh, without the pocketing tool path for the picture. Uh, you may not even like all the... Uh, all the different uh, ornaments that are here. You may want to run just one particular type. Well, I wanted to give you as many options as possible, okay? Let's close this one out. Um, the ornament that we're going to run for you in the shop, for the example, okay? This is this round one is, is a pretty simple one. It literally runs on two tools, okay? We've got the pocket in the center, Okay, we're going to cut it out. The last thing we're going to do before we break it out of our blank is we're going to pop that little eighth inch hole, okay? Quarter inch end mill, eighth inch end mill, that's it. Uh, she cuts out, okay, we'll preview all our tool paths. There's your pocket, okay? There's your cutout. And then last but not least, there's your hole to put your string, your twine, your yarn, or whatever through. Now, mind you, if you guys decide, uh, and currently I am doing this on a piece of 6 inch by 6 inch scrap, okay? I have set my thickness to 350 thousandths because that, that is roughly what I planed my 3 quarter down to. You may have to change your thickness, okay? Again, we start off the top of the material and my datum position 
for me is always going to be in the middle. You guys can change this to whatever works better for you, how you like it, okay? Great. Well, without further ado, we're going to go down. We're going to block a piece of material in. And we're going to get ready to run apart and continue on to the next step. Okay, guys? Well, thank you. And we'll be right back, guys. All right. All right, guys. Welcome back. Well, real quick, the other option we wanted to do, and every now and then I, I get an email. Uh, Steve, I don't own a CNC machine. Uh, some of the stuff you fabricate, we really like. We don't have this piece of equipment. Well, in the case of these Christmas ornaments, you can literally take the ornament itself, you can scale it to whatever size you want in, in your Photoshop, uh, not Photoshop, but uh, some type of picture viewer. You could print the ornament out on a printer, okay? The picture of it uh, on just regular photo, not photo paper, but uh, you know, your Xerox copy paper. Uh, print it out, you could cut the ornament out, you could put it on to the material that you're going to use regardless of what it is, okay? We'll use the piece of poplar for example. Tape it on, trace it with a pencil, take it off, and then you can cut it out on a, I mean this is my small little old bench top band, so nothing fancy. Uh, you could also use a handheld jigsaw, you know, don't use too small of a piece of material. You want to be able to hang on to this stuff. I don't want to see nobody cutting their fingers off. The other thing you could use, I don't own, is a scroll saw. Okay? Then once your ornament is cut out, you can throw an eighth inch drill bit into your cordless drill, electric drill, whatever, and you can drill your hole to put your string to hang your ornament, okay? I want to give you guys as many options. These make great gifts. They really are a fabulous gift uh, for Christmas, okay? Well, what I'm going to do, we're going to pause the video here again, and I'm going to mill out the piece. As I've told you in a lot of my, uh, a lot of my videos, I don't clamp things down. Uh, I just don't. I'll end up blocking with my, uh, with my cutoff pieces of three quarter by one inch composite. I'll block my piece of material and then I'll mill it out, okay? Well, what I'm going to do now, like I said, we're going to pause the video. I'm going to mill you out a couple of ornaments. When we get them off the table, We'll get a couple broken out. We'll kind of, uh, I won't jump through the steps, but you don't need to watch the machine run and me cut out parts and, you know, sand them and blah, blah, blah. Okay? But you hang on one second. We'll be right back. All right, guys? Thanks. 